All right, we're gonna start this showing. Today it is a rainy day, which is kind of good because you kind of see the flaws on when it does rain. You can see here when I drove up the driveway, probably does need some ditching and some uh, gravel. It is a little soft. It does have a nice retaining wall and stairs over here. Back of the house, you can see the water's kind of pooling in the backyard. Definitely want to do some grading there also. There's a hill. It's not the best for mowing. It is kind of bumpy. There's a shed in the back corner. Roof seems to be in good shape. Chimney seems to be in good shape. You can see the neighbor's house through the trees that way. No neighbors across. And there is another neighbor kind of through the trees there. You can see the house. Let's go inside and take a peek. I'm gonna walk into the basement first. Most important part, you do have laundry down here. Pretty good size basement. It does have a four foot wall in the front half. Oil is on the back half of the basement, so you would have to keep the whole front of the home shoveled for oil access. Over here you have storage. You can see your septic goes out on the opposite side of the driveway. Heating system. Does have a boiler mate. It's a New Yorker, which is a, it's a fairly uh, common used boiler in this region. A lot of the company's uh, services, so does have a Beckett burner on it. Looks like two zones and then one zone for heat, uh, for hot water, sorry. Go upstairs. Does have, there are metal beam, uh, metal poles for support in the middle, which is nice. They're not just lolly columns. Does have nice wood tread stairs going into the upstairs. Just come up kind of in the center of the home. Kitchen and stuff's that way. There are a couple bedrooms that way, but we'll get there. Check out the kitchen first. This is one bedroom. Does have heat, window, closet. This is on the back of the house. You can see through the window, that's the little covered deck on the back. Kitchen is good size. Does have a wall oven, microwave, and then you got your stove top there. Pretty decent cabinetry. Does have a dishwasher, it looks very old. Nice island. This is on the front corner of the house next to the driveway. I'll definitely come back up uh, in better weather just to see. I think you might be able to see some mountains, especially with the leaves gone. It is a little higher in elevation than I thought. Direct off the kitchen would be your living room and dining room. The dining room area here is a little small, but there is a light for over the table and stuff. Nice bay window.
over on the back door entrance, you do have one bathroom. Toilet, double sink, and then you have a tub on this side. Go out that back door. This is that back porch it is covered. Does have uh, tongue and groove pine ceiling, wood poles, wood railings, wood decking. Also has wood siding, stained, pretty good condition. There are no gutters on the back of the house or the front of the house. Go back in. Down the hall, that door that's open, that's the basement door. This is bedroom two, older carpet, sheetrock walls. This is a small bedroom, probably better for an office. I'd say maybe 10 by nine or something like that. I'll, I can measure it. This is the primary bedroom. It does have his and her closets. Uh, just, nope, sorry. Yeah, it does have his and her closet. So, closet on either side of the bathroom. This is on the front side of the house, well, the whole end of the house, uh, opposite of the driveway. You do have a high window, so you can put your bed there. Heat behind it. Does have a master bathroom, his and her sinks, full tub, toilet. It is an older tub unit, but seems to be in good shape. It is very deep. Older windows, they're wooded. Off the side of the bedroom is a little den area. It does have a separate entrance, hardwood floors, pine walls and ceiling. Good office space. That's your door of the upstairs.